What's up YouTube, this is Nicotine RX and today we are going to be taking a look at one of the upgrade kits for uh, Legacy Evolution Tarn. So this is one of those upgrade Transformers kits out there that you know, fill up gaps and whatnot, or heck, even add more extra bits to make the toy even more enjoyable. But this one in particular is more for just filling gaps, but I think this is one of those underrated ones out there for Tarn specifically because this one doesn't really add on much of weapons, say. It really just enhances the toy itself. So yeah, uh, if you can see, I put up a picture up here to let you know that this kit in particular gives him more <clears throat> gap village, which is kind of crazy because this figure barely has gaps, but uh, it gives you extra plates to cover up the arms in the tank mode, heck, even angle fillers for the gaps at the back, which is honestly not that much needed, but much appreciated. Uh, tiny energon fillers for the knees, and heck, uh, parts to even upgrade the existing guns that he come with to make them more IDW accurate in terms of proportion and even the look and also get fillers as well. So yeah, I'm very excited to open this thing up because I never thought that this guy really needed upgrade kits but here we are. So yeah. So this is currently what we have in terms of the parts breakdown for the upgrade kit. So these ones in particular are for covering up the hands in the tank mode. As you can see it has very nice detail. A lot of these are like 3D printed and injection molded for the clear parts which I think are really nice. Because there's no gate marks in terms of like cutting off of the sprues and stuff. And even if there is it's like very obscure that you can like barely notice it if you put up on the figure. So yeah, this is a very nicely printed part, but in terms of the gap filler for the hands, as you can see, there's also pins going through, so you know, get a bit of that uh, articulation going on, which I think is a very nice touch. These ones in particular are for the back of the cannons. These ones are for the ankles. As you can see, there's part of the uh, gate mark from the sprue, but I don't think you can notice it when you put it on the figure itself. These are for filling up the gaps on the guns themselves. As you can see, there's square pegs on that so they fill up the square holes. And these in particular are for making the guns more proportionate to the IDW style of how the cannons are placed. If I can pull up a picture right here, you can see it now. So yeah, and these ones are for the joints for the guns themselves. So that's pretty much it for the parts breakdown. Okay, to get Tarn ready, I'll have to take off the weapon first, you know, because we'll be starting with the main body himself. So, first things first, we start with parts 5 and 6, which are the clear pieces for his knees. From what I've seen, there's not much difference in other than the number sequence. So, I'm, I think I could put them in any side I want. So, these clear parts, they go in here. Yeah. They slide in like that, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, you have like a tiny like energon infused knee section right here. And I think that's a pretty cool touch. It adds a little bit more color and flair to the figure. Same goes for the other side. Here you have the knees with the clear parts on. Very cool. Next thing we do is put up the uh, extra knee parts for the arm covers and all that. So we go to the back. And if I'm not wrong, we slide this one, which I think is labeled either one or two. So this section goes onto the back of the knee over here. So it just slides in perfectly. And this acts also as a uh, joint cover for the uh, robot mode, which I think is a really cool touch. I don't think really think it's needed because even without it, you get that extra joint of articulation, you know, for that double jointed knee and then this thing pokes out but I still appreciate it for what they are trying to do with this upgrade kit. And then you do the same thing to the other side. So you slide it in like this. Right. And then you cover it up. And I like how everything slides into place especially leaving the 5mm port for other weapons that you want to plug into. Next up we're gonna go to the ankles. So from the instructions I'm supposed to bend the ankles a little bit. Alright so this is number four, piece number four. So 
this portion here will go into the back of the ankle here as you can see a rectangle slot sorry about that this slides in right and then it just covers the gap like that like it just locks into place oh yeah there we go pretty cool stuff and i like that even with the ankle moving it still like flows with the joint which is cool cool stuff now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side just bend the ankle insert the piece in and fill it up the gap it clicks into place and there you go cool stuff and wow holy shit i like the added detail though it's a really nice touch so next up for the guns the instructions say take off the middle portion which you can keep for future use i guess because you really need just the two guns so we're gonna start with this one so first things first sorry we add this uh, connection port to the peg like that so i push it all the way in like this and you get a little articulated bit when you push it all the way in which is cool next up you put the gap filler uh, attach this uh, hinge pack thing over here so this goes in and then you push it all the way down and then it's supposed to swing out when you completed it like that I think yeah like that I might be wrong never mind I was right so yeah this thing is supposed to swing down because this acts as a uh, locking mechanism for when you swivel the gun so that's cool what you do next is you plug the piece in and this covers up all the gaps of the gun itself like that and whoof look at that holy shit what I really love about this upgrade kit in particular is that it doesn't give you a fresh new set of guns, it utilizes the existing ones and because of that, you still get a bit of that uh, weapon light piping which I so love that I mentioned in the uh, torn review. Lastly, you take the back of the gun with the articulated cap and you plug it on to this orientation which I believe, yeah, like that. So that's the first gun completed. Pretty cool stuff. You got articulated bit, you get the locking mechanism. Yeah. Cool stuff. Now for the next gun, it's pretty much the same thing, but of course you see the obvious differences and stuff. So you put in the uh, connector piece as well, over here. And then you move onto the gap filler. You put in the joint. like that swing it out a bit so it's easier to maneuver things fill up the gap like this oh wow it fills up a lot better than I thought it would okay there you go you got that once again that glorious weapon light piping that I love and lastly you put on this portion so the instructions say to leave the, the flat side down like this so that when you swivel this, it just slides along. So there you go, you have the other cannon done. So to put the weapons together, the first thing you're gonna do is untap the locking mechanism, swing out the joint and lock it back in for this cannon with the uh, more circular shape. And then for the more rectangular one, you do the same thing but you swivel it on the left and you lock it back. And what you're gonna do next is we're gonna utilize the uh, two peg holes that come on Tarn's right arm. So the circular one goes to the top like this and the rectangular one goes to the bottom and as you can see the white parts, the connectors, they slide in perfectly with each other which I really love. Of course, yeah, it does take a little maneuvering because you know this is an upgrade kit. It's not really the uh, toughest plastic in the world. After much finagling, this is how the cannons on his arm will look like. So yeah, you really have to press it down in there, but the end product, you get the uh, proportionally accurate cannon that he has in the IDW comics. So yeah, the leftover is you get this piece, the rotating tank part, 
and I think you're gonna, you gonna you can still use it for vehicle mode if you still wanted to. Yeah, the instructions gave you that option. But other than that, looking at Torn with the upgrade kits himself though, like holy shit. Honestly, the differences are really minuscule, but when you really look at the nitty-gritty of like what the upgrade kits really do, I think it really enhances what he already has and that's a really good thing. Especially like looking at the difference between how the previous canon and the current one looks like. It looks way more sleeker, it adds his personality really well. Also a hidden gimmick that the people that made the upgrades as well gave you the option to collapse the grips back in as like so and as you notice one of the guns the cap goes to the back because they give you the option to uh, replicate the long arm cannon that the Kuro Karakuri version of uh, Torn has so you can g make him combine the guns and have a uh, long range rifle which I think it's really cool so yeah you have that option going on and I think because of the uh, slightly extended pegs that the grips have compared to the original one he holds the guns way better even with articulated fingers so yeah that's cool I guess the only complaints I have for this well not really a complaint but it's more of a wish it stayed kind of thing is the articulation because of how the parts are more focused on the joints on the legs like what I said before you do miss out on some of that glorious articulation that he had before like you know bending the ankles more than uh, 90 degrees with that double joint that's in the transformation joint and uh, the ankles being able to bend all the way as you can see because of how the ankle gap filler is working it works like a mechanism like a uh, sliding joint kind of thing and it's removable but yeah you gotta really like wiggle it out in there so yeah but yeah that's pretty much it. It's not really a huge problem if you don't, if you can still, you know, do some posing and make him still look cool, which, you know, I can still do. But the added articulation that he had previously is still like amazing and probably one of the best aspects of this figure when it first released. So it's kind of sad that you sacrifice some of that aesthetic for articulation, but you know, that's how it usually goes for upgrade kits of this kind. All right, so for transformation, we're pretty much going to repeat the same steps except we're going to do a few extra for the upgrade kits as well. So first off, for the feet, you just close it up like that, which I think it works pretty well actually. Yeah, you do the same thing to the other side. Yeah, again, I really like how the upgrade kit just fills in the tiny gaps that the uh, feet already have, which is cool. For the knees, you're supposed to just splay them out like that. Right, bend the legs like so. You just do a lot of the things that you usually do for the uh, original transformation for this guy. And there you go for the uh, tank mode that we are used to. But the upgrade kit lets you cover up the hands. So first off, you have to rotate the hands in this orientation so that the uh, fingers are facing in like that. And then this piece will just flow in and just cover up the hands like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it actually. Same goes for the other side. It doesn't really peg into anything, which I guess is a drawback. But in tank mode, yeah, there you go. You have the arms, well, you have the hands covered up and you have a more complete looking tank mode, which is pretty cool. Honestly, the hands never really bothered me that much, but it's really just the guns and stuff that made me want to order this. So, for the turret of the tank, this is where the original attachment piece comes back into play for tank mode. So, you do the same tabbing that you do on the tank mode. And then for the guns, you do the same thing. But because of how you have the tab still on the uh, cannons, you can still put it in different orientations that you want so you do the same thing like previously but because of the added parts and such you have a nicely proportionate tank turret as well like the, the the guns are longer and it flows a lot better with the tank and because of the joints and stuff you can angle the uh, guns a little higher which is great so this is pretty much it for my review of the legacy torn upgrade set so yeah, 
Uh, I'm overall pretty happy with this. I love the parts that are included with this kit. They add a lot more bulk, but keep it sleek at the same time with the parts. And honestly, I do think this is the best upgrade kit for Torn himself. Uh, the weapon sets that give you a miniature Voss for uh, Torn to handle is great and all, but like it comes with extra stuff that the, the IDW version doesn't really give, so it's not really accurate. But this one keep things min uh, to a minimal, uh, heck, it even enhances the proportions of the guns as well, which I think is my favorite part of all of this. Flaws, the gap fillers, you could say for the hands in the tank mode, they don't peg into anywhere, like what I said, and because of that it just, like, it just collapses, so there's nothing for it to peg into, which is a little problem because, you know, it could accidentally, like, knock into it and it could flip out or heck you can even break it off if you're not careful because this material is not really the toughest of all like kinds of plastic so yeah there's some precautions that you have to really uh, be aware of but overall i still think this is a pretty good kit that you should get to upgrade your torn so that's it for my review for the legacy evolutions torn upgrade kit if you really enjoyed this video do leave a like comment subscribe you know usual stuff I'll try to pump up more content, you know, uh, reviewing an upgrade kit is something new that I've never done before, so uh, do leave some feedback and tell me what to improve in terms of showcasing uh, the part that, what the part does, sorry, and you know, uh, what parts that you recommend that I should get for my existing collection and all that. So yeah, I'll see you guys in another video and peace out.